Section 2. When you finish this section, you should be able to 1. Add and subtract signed integers. 2. Multiply and divide signed integers. 3. Use exponents. 4. Evaluate expressions by order of operations. When adding integers with like signs, whether the signs are negative or positive, the principle of addition is the same. For example, positive 5 plus positive 3 is positive 8. Negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. When adding negative integers, use parentheses on each number that follows the plus sign. It is used to clarify the problem. Therefore, negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. Note, negative 3 is within parentheses. Let's look at a chart to help better understand these concepts. Note the first example in our chart. Positive 1 plus positive 1 plus positive 1 is positive 3. Adding all positive numbers yields a positive result. Interpreted, that means if every number in the equation is positive, then the final result is positive. Note the second example in our chart. Negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Adding all negative numbers yields a negative result. If every number in the equation is negative, then the final result is negative. Remember, when adding values with like signs, you should be able to determine the sign of the sum just by looking at the sign of the component. Subtracting signed integers is a little different from adding them because the minus sign, in effect, changes the sign of the number it precedes. For example, negative 27 minus positive 3 becomes negative 27 minus 3. In effect, if it is positive, it becomes negative. If it is negative, it becomes positive. Negative 27 minus negative 3 becomes negative 27 plus 3. Look at the first example from the chart pointed to by the red arrow. 0 minus negative 1 is positive 1. The example that follows illustrates that the final result will not always be positive. For example, Negative 27 minus negative 1 is negative 27 plus 1, which is negative 26. In the latter example, the contrary is represented. 0 minus positive 1 is negative 1. As before, it does not imply that the final result will be negative. Note the following example. 27 minus positive 1 is positive 26. In order to clarify these concepts, let's look at a graph of a thermometer. If the weatherman announces at 6 a.m. that the temperature is minus 25 degrees below zero, graph that point on the thermometer scale. Note, this temperature is in yellow. By 2 p.m., the temperature has risen by 15 degrees. This temperature is in red. You know that it is now 10 degrees below zero. Mathematically, you can get this by adding negative 25 plus 15 is negative 10. Multiplication refers to the repeated addition of the same number. Thus, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is the same as 6 times 5. In algebra, 
There are four ways to represent multiplication. The following illustrates three of those ways. The fourth will be discussed later. Note, the first example is the traditional method, 7 times 5 using an X. Next, a dot is used to represent multiplication. In the last example, parentheses are used to represent multiplication. Although X is a valid way to represent multiplication, it is rarely used in algebra. The reason for its omission will be obvious as your study of algebra continues. The next task we face is multiplying signed integers. Even numbers refer to values that result in a whole number when divided by 2. Therefore, the following are valid examples of even numbers. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Multiplying an even number of integers with like signs positive or negative, will yield a positive result except when multiplying by zero. For example, positive 5 times positive 5 is positive 25. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 times positive 1 times positive 1 is positive 1. Uneven numbers do not result in a whole number when divided by 2. Thus, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 are valid examples of uneven numbers. Multiplying numbers which have an uneven number of negative signs will yield a negative result, except when multiplying by zero. For example, negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 7 times 5 times negative 3 times 2 is negative 210. Negative 17 times 0 is 0. Division of sign integers is much like multiplying them, except the rules concerning 0 changes. Thus, if you understand one concept, you will have little trouble comprehending the other. First, let's denote the different components of a division problem. The numerator, 10, is on top. The denominator, 5, is on bottom. And 2, the answer, is called the quote name. Dividing integers with like signs, whether they be positive or negative, will yield a positive result except when division of or by zero occurs. Positive 6 divided by positive 2 is positive 3. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. Let's discuss the exception, 0. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 divided by 0 does not exist. Division by 0 is impossible. Dividing two numbers with unlike sign gives a negative result except when division of or by 0 occurs. Thus, 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Zero is unaffected by sign changes. Zero divided by negative one is zero. 
zero divided by positive one is zero. Exponential expressions consist of two parts. One, the base. The base represents the number to be multiplied. And exponents. The exponent shows how many times the factor or base should be multiplied. Mathematically, it, it is expressed as follows. 5 is the base or factor and 3 is the exponent. The expression of 5 with the raised 3 is read as 5 to the third power. The expression can be represented in two forms. The exponential form, 5 raised to the third power. Factored form, 5 times 5 times 5. Realize that fractional values and negative numbers can be expressed in terms of exponents as well. Using fractions in exponential expressions does not alter the way they are represented. As before, fractions can be expressed in two ways, exponential form or factored form. Let's look at an example. One half to the third power represents a fraction in exponential form. One half times one half times one half represents a fraction in factored form. The above example can be read in two ways, one half to the third power or one half cubed. Similar cases will be identified as they occur during the lecture. Using negative numbers in the base of an exponential expression is just like multiplying them. In fact, that is actually what you're doing. It's only being represented in a different way. In the first example, negative 5 is raised to the second power, which is positive 25, because the exponent is even. This is also one of those special cases that can be read differently. It can also be read as negative 5 squared. In the second example, negative 5 cubed is negative 125 because the exponent is uneven. There are two more important cases that we need to mention. Let's look at those now. Any number raised to a power of 0 except 0 is equal to 1. 1 raised to the 0 is 1. 5 raised to the 0 power is 1. 200 raised to the 0 power is 1. 0 is unique because it is the only number that cannot be raised to a power of itself. Thus, 0 raised to the 0 power is undefined. 0 to the 10th power is 0. Raising the number 1 to any power including 0 will always equal 1. 1 raised to the 2,000th power is 1. 1 to the 0 power is 1. The last topic on the agenda for this section is order of operations.